Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can easily use ClickUp tables. So the first thing you want to do is just click here on spaces, space, and I'm going to choose my project here. Now what I will do, I will just simply click plus view, that's what you want to do, and then choose table. Then you have option to choose between private view and PD view, and then click add view. And voila, here we got it. So table represents the same thing as a list, but uh, in a more organized form, I would say. Uh, I really like table more personally, only because it's clear to me what needs to be done, how it needs to be done. And for me, it's much easier to read comparing to list. So what you can do is you can make those columns really easily bigger and shorter. You can longer and shorter. You can simply add a new task and let's say this task would be called mm, new business video, right? Okay, we have it. I can simply choose here assigning. Then I can simply change the status here to business. This is going to be assigned to me. Then you're going to have option to also change the due date priority and these are all that I have in my list the columns now when I go even further I can simply click plus here and I can add a column right so let's say I can add a location field name is going to be where it's recorded right and you can have in your table all the things now you have also option to uh, show and hide the field list you can have a group it by let's say that you want to group it by priorities see and even table changed here by urgent high normal no priority in that regard this is really easy to read and easy to understand then you can also change it by due date by tax by assigning so let's say i'm going to have it by status and if i like let's go this is for me really clear but comparing to list, it's much more easier to navigate in using table comparing to the when I'm going to group it even by status, which is com really similar to list. So uh, this is why it's pretty effective. Now I can again add hiding subtasks. I can have it like showing subtasks. Then you can have like only show task assigned to me. Uh, you can filter task by assignee. You can change the row height by large, by huge, by small. Then you're going to find the columns here. So you can have the columns so like time estimated, cost of producing video, status. So you can have all the columns that you have also in your list. You can like add here and you can add like, let's say YouTube link. These are all columns that I have in my list view and you can add them here. Then with the free doubts, you can have like auto save view. Then you have also options to have a protect view, private view, default to everyone, default to me mode. And you can have also options to export the view. So that's what you can do. And to add a task that's really simple, I just click here on the plus new task. I write here, uh, you can also add task under, when we have the group by status, you can add it under whatever status you want. Like even when I change it to priority, let's say urgent is going to be YouTube video, nice niche uh, about marketing about let's say strategy right and when I have it 
I can simply add a signy. And then uh, you have also option to filter it by tax. You can change the priority here, the start date, the time estimate, the status, the cost of producing the video, the YouTube link, where it's recorded. And that's pretty much it. To remove the table, you just click on it with the three dots and delete it. Of course, when you're going to click on a table, you have options to pin it. You can option to add to favorites. You can duplicate it as you can move it. Or you can change the sharing and permissions. If uh, what you can do, you can make it public link, private link. So that means that anyone with the link can access. You can protect the view. Log you can lock it so no one can edit it or you can make it private that it's going to be visible only to you. You can share the list with by inviting people or, or name with the email. And then you can delete it and you can change like template center. You can sa save it as a template. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you're going to have a great day. This was a table tutorial for ClickUp. Uh, so yeah, have a great day and goodbye guys. See ya.